Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Kovuban, and in this video, I want to show you and demonstrate how to use uh, remote computer management. And this video is for intermediate users, uh, not necessarily for uh, advanced users. And I'm sure you've all seen uh, how manage manage or computer management uh, uh, window looks like. So, um, if you're if you've been doing for com uh, computer support or desktop support for a while, I'm sure you're familiar with this. So there are a couple of ways to get to it, right? Uh, the one one is if you have an icon on your desktop that just says computer. Second way is if you click start, right click on uh, computer, and then click manage, right? And then you get the window. It comes up. And the third way is if you simply just type in computer management, then it comes up, and you just select it, and it comes up again. So uh, why would you want to do this, right? Well, if you've been using it uh, on your lo on the local machines, trying to figure out what the issue may be, um, there are things you probably looked at, like Event Viewer. You looked at the logs, Windows logs, for example, or uh, like for example, if uh, a user complains about a computer shutting down or restarting or crashing at some point, you might want to go here and look at the uh, log files, right, to see what happened. That's the easiest way, especially if uh, and, you know if the user just simply says computer crashed. You know, computer user doesn't know what necessarily happened, so uh, this may actually be something you have to do, right? So you can go to system and look at all the log files. But what if the user is in the middle of work, right? They're in the middle of doing something. They can't stop doing what they're doing, but you really want to help them, and and they just happen to be uh, preoccupied for the whole day, right? But you want to get things rolling, right? So one way is to remotely connect to the uh, to the uh, computer management console for that machine. So um, I'm assuming that you know you're working for somebody that has, or maybe even at home, you have multiple computers on the same network. They have to be on the same network, and you know the host name or the PC name of that computer that the person is using that you're trying to help. So you go to manage, right? Just like you would on your own computer, not on the remote machine yet, because the, the point of it is to do it remotely, right? So um, once you get to this console, make sure that you don't click on anything here yet. And the reason for that is the window we want, um, what we want to see is a connect to another computer uh, option, because this will not show up if you start to explore in here, right? So if I click on something in here, um, you'll see that the connect to another computer has disappeared, right? So, um, and the only reason I'm saying this is because a lot of people forget. They think it just disappeared, but if you do click com uh, computer management again, you can see that connect to another computer again, right? So, once you go over here, now we want to connect to a different computer. Um, it's, you simply select, select connect to another computer, and then you hear um, you can either obviously you can browse for it, but most likely you already have the host name, PC name. And I also, just for demonstration, I have one uh, on, on my home network that I'm going to show you. And that's the name of it, and I'm just going to go ahead and click it. And it may take a sec to connect, but here it is, right? So you pretty much get the same things. Uh, the, the remote computer on this, uh, this remote computer is, uh, has this uh, restricted mostly, but I'll show you. See if you click to expand the system tools, it's going to say connecting please wait and it may take a little bit or may not. Uh, most likely um, if you're on a, on a fast network it's not going to take long. But I just wanted to show you that it works, right? So it's connecting right now and, it, it, and it's going to connect, it's going to take a little bit for my computer because this remote computer is actually quite restricted so I won't be able to do, uh, as you can see here, I got a pop up. Um, the service is disabled. And it's still gonna it's still gonna let me expand. So right now we're connected to that computer, right? And you know you can go through everything just like on, on your local uh, host computer. I mean, depending if some things are disabled, you may not be be able to see them. But you know you can go to your uh, um, you know device manager, storage, anything you like. So and you know this is just one way of uh, getting the ball rolling on fixing the person's computer, right? especially if it's in a corporate environment, if they're busy or whatnot. Okay, hopefully, guys, this helped, this quick tip or this quick video helped you. Um, I'll try to make more videos every week, and you can look forward to that. Uh, have a good day.
Bye-bye.